You knew on the night beat mailboxes targeted personal information stolen. People who live in the northeast neighborhood of the Crownwood subdivision say this isn't the first time it's happened. The night team Stephen Cavazos with the change they're hoping to see. People who live in the Crownwood subdivision on high alert after learning their mail was stolen. Eric Malsbury joined the neighborhood surveillance team after he and his grandmother had their W-2 stolen this week. Our main focus is to try and combat the mail theft. He says he's now left worried. I do feel vulnerable um, and concerned, you know, that, you know, somebody could use my, my name and my social security. Malsbury says he also feels inconvenienced. Now I have to drive to go get my mail instead of getting it from my mailbox. The break-ins happening at different cluster mailboxes around the subdivision about two weeks ago. Now, neighbors say this isn't the first time that these mailboxes have been broken into. They say it's a problem that's been going on for years, and it usually happens during tax season. We're getting assaulted by petty thieves and criminals who think it's easy prey for them to take our mail. This longtime resident asked us not to show his face, but says the problem has been going on for years. He says the community mailboxes are more than 30 years old and are easy to pry open. These modern boxes are much easier to secure, much, much safer for our people. Like this one, neighbors say USPS replaced the mailbox after it was damaged, but says nothing has been done about their current problem. It, it's unfortunate, but that's the times we live in. But we need to stop it. Now again, mailbox breaks in, mailbox breaks in, break ins that is increase around tax season. And if someone breaks into your mailbox, report it to the Postal Service. The best thing to do is to get your mail daily and don't let it sit overnight. Steve.